Okay guys, we're gonna be starting a new chapter. We'll be looking at thirds. Thirds is a fancy name really for square roots. And we're gonna start by trying to add and subtract thirds. So firstly, what is two root three plus five root three? Well, we've got two lots of the root three and five lots of the root three. So if we add those up, we're gonna have seven lots of root three. If you like, this is really the same problem as saying, if I have two apples plus five apples, how many apples do I have? Well, I'd have seven apples, right? Or if you want to think about it algebraically, this is two lots of x plus five lots of x would be seven lots of x, okay? So here we've got two lots of root three plus five lots of root three for a total of seven root three, okay? So let's just practice that. 5 root 2 plus 3 root 2 would be 8 root 2. And 4 root 5 plus 2 root 5 would be 6 root 5. And the same thing works with subtraction. If I've got 6 lots of root 3 minus 2 lots of root 3, I would have 4 lots of root 3. Okay? All right. Let's think about a slightly different example. If I've got 2 root 3 plus 5 root 2, how can I add those up? Well, the answer is I can't really because root three is a different thing to root two. This is kind of like saying, what is two apples plus five oranges, right? You can't add apples and oranges because they're different things. And so we can't uh, add these two together either. Okay, so let's just do a final couple of examples. Here we've got three root two minus root two. Well, this is the same type of thing, isn't it, right? So three root two, minus one root two will be two root two. And over here for B, if we've got four root five plus three root two, well, these are different, aren't they? Root five is different to root two, so we can't simplify this. This is just the same as five root five plus three root two. Okay, all right, guys, I hope that that was helpful. Uh, follow along with the next videos to learn more about certs. Bye.